There was no sound in earth or air, and soft moonbeams smiled on stately lower and temple fair, like mother or her child, and always hush in the deep repose that welcomes the summer evening's close. Many an either day had wept, and a cheek with joy grew bright, which now, alike unconscious, slept beneath the wan moonlight, and mandolin and gay guitar had ceased to woo the evening star. The lover has saw his couch again, and then maiden's eyes no longer glisten as she comes to the lattice to catch his strain and sighs when she bends to smile and listen. She sleeps, but her rosy lips still move and in dreams, she answers the voice of love. Sleep on, ye thoughtless and giddy train, sorrow comes with the dawning ray. Ye never shall wake to joy again, or your gay laugh gladden the rising day. Death sits brooding above your towers, and destruction rides on the coming hours. The day has dawned, but not a breath sighs through the sultry air. The heavens above and earth, beneath one gloomy aspect where horror and doubt and wild dismay welcome the dawn of that fatal day. Hark! Tis not the thunder's lengthened pearl. Hark! Tis not the winds that rise, or the heavy crash of the laden wheel that echoes through the skies. Tis the sound that gives the earthquake birth. Tis the heavy groans of the rending earth. Oh, there were streaks of wild affright, and sounds of hurrying feet, and men who cursed the lurid light, whose glance they feared to meet, and some sunk down in mute despair on the parched earth, and perished there. It comes, it comes, that lengthened shock, the earth before it reels, the stately towers and temples rot, the dark abyss reveals, its fiery depths, strife is o'er, the city sinks to rise no more. She has passed from earth with a fearful dream, where her pomp and splendor rose, there runs a dark and turbid stream, and a sable cloud its shadow throws, Pale sorrow broods in silence there, to mourn the perished things that were. 